Well, it is a, a rolling six-year plan, so we can make adjustments every year. Uh, yeah, again, a lot of these projects, sorry, uh, they won't, it depends on the funding source, too. So. Yeah. Yeah, there's other counties in, in Oregon. Uh, actually, Oregon is actually looking at what they have to do if uh, they dissolve a county and what the procedures would be and what the problems would be for a couple of their counties. Uh, do they get taken over by the next door neighbor? Well, what do you do with the debt? How does that balance out uh, for everybody? Uh, all the different logistics of all those services. And the, the, the state's actually looking at two timber counties down there. Uh, because they are at that point of saying, if you lose all this durable schools money, uh, you know, we're out of business. Um, so, uh, you know, they've never had to face that before. So, they're like, what do we do? So, they're actually studying it. Uh, uh, you just have to expect and, and hope that there'll be a resolution at the federal level uh, at some point instead of this log jam we've had the last few years. But if not, we do have to adapt. We're not letting the situation stand in the way of good planning. Mm -hmm. um, the needs don't go away, and I think we need to be ready to respond to them in a prioritized fashion. And uh, then be creative as we can in seeking the revenue sources um, to, to fund those needs uh, without a plan. And without ongoing transportation planning, we're reacting to um, we're reacting to needs that arise constantly, and we're being pulled in many different directions uh, without being able to prioritize where those those needs are. You know? And yeah, this really helps us be ready to move either in a positive or a negative direction.